Hey there friends, how is it going? My name is Rabbit and welcome to episode number 43 of our blind run of Paladin's Quest on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. In our last episode, we got absolutely annihilated by Loki Yarn, who we were able to confirm wasn't a continent, nor was that name tied to a town. Oh no, it was that mini armed monster wielding all of those swords that just wrecked us completely. So following us getting our asses whooped, we were in, I'm guessing, prison or we were in a cell with some other folks, but our good friend Fiery, whom we had been introduced to, I think two times in the past, maybe three times, but we've seen her before. She officially joined forces with us and is helping us break out alongside some other members of the resistance. So we parted ways trying to determine which path we wanted to take so that we can get out of here. And whew, you guys, we learned real quick that the monsters here aren't anything to fart around with. So no more games. I healed up and I made sure to save. I told you guys I was feeling a little uneasy about that. And before I actually cast Barry, I think I'm going to do... I really want to be getting these storms up, but Barry's not going to be bad to focus on as well. So, all right, since there's just one fella here, we will... I guess quadruple down on him. <laughs> just everyone kind of throwing everything they've got at him. But yes, that is where we left off, friends. I am going to try the northern bound section first. And if it looks like that's the direction we're going to go in, I started to mention this at the end of episode 42. I will just pause everything, cut the camera, and I'll bring you guys back when I am back in the southern area with the stairwell and the little control Thing, the control device console device I don't know what I'm trying to say hopefully you guys can understand it's it's early in the morning as usual so y'all know English sometimes not as within my grasp as I'd like it to be all right let's do L storm you did the regular storm last time I know it's not the most effective on this douchebag but between Barry and we're going to I don't know if it was the blowgun or the poison in D. I was not paying attention, but we did see that Fiery, one of her weapons, whichever one it is, hopefully we'll find out here, but we saw that one of them has the ability to potentially silence, I think is what that was. I think so. It doesn't look like it was the, hmm. We'll just have to keep trying and eventually we'll figure it out, you guys. There are only so many combinations and options that we can really give a good whirl there. So I can, oh, I can take this way. Oh, for some reason I, that didn't look like stairs to me. It looked like, oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like an asshole. I did not realize. Do you guys see what I'm saying? How with the arrow, it looks like then there are some bars that are blocking like an escalator, but I see that it's just supposed to be a futuristic stairwell. Oh my goodness. So I ran back and forth and got into all these extra fights at the end of our last episode for absolutely nothing, which I guess I shouldn't say it's absolutely nothing. We are still getting XP, which is always nice and always welcome when we're dealing with newer and tougher opponents, but even still, oh, that's a little lame. Okay, so we saw that if we take the upper path, it leads to a balcony. So I think what I am going to do is run back down to the southern one. We'll take those stairs and see where that leads. Oh my goodness, you guys. If that ends up also leading us outside to an open-ended looking area, I'm going to lose it. I just don't want to miss any hidden treasures because this strikes me as the type of area that we will not have the opportunity to revisit later on. Like there are some places, oh my God, did he really just summon another one? And if y'all recall, those hermits can do the defeat... I guess they call it P, but it's the solo target one. So basically they can instantly kill one of your party members, which is not my idea of a good time. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so what I was starting to say and my reasoning for wanting to kind of run back and just double check, if not triple check, that I'm not missing anything is because I want to make absolutely sure that we get everything that can be found here because I don't feel quite 
confident that we'll have the opportunity to revisit this place later like some other shrines. So give me just a minute and I will meet you guys down in the other section that, I don't know, it has a stairwell. I thought I was going to have to interact with that little device over here. But as you can see, it doesn't do a damn thing. So be right back, my friends. Okie dokie, friends. We are here and ready to see where these steps are going to take us. Oh my gosh, we're in the sidelines with all those people? I bet there wasn't a festival like this even when Gabnid created Dalgran. Okay. Did you see the parade from Roki? The girls' outfits were pretty snazzy. I hear Noigren will move out soon. That will be the festival's climax. Okay, so actually, it looks like this was a dead end and I can't do anything. There are three jokers blocking my way here and pretty much it seems like you're just in the sidelines so <gasps> once again it appears that I ran all this way for nothing so I will meet you guys back where we previously were at the stairwell that takes us I guess to the that canopy area that I'm guessing is gonna allow us to escape hopefully anyway so I'll see y'all in just a second and we're back folks and while that detour was a bit of a pain in the ass I am at least pleased to report that everyone in our party did gain one level so I'm feeling a bit more confident about moving forward ooh but I'm not sure which of these doors we need to be going into hmm I guess we could just tackle them as they come but I wouldn't put it past the game to put where we need to go right in front of us and then us end up missing out on a treasure chest. So I don't know, I'll think about it. But first, I'm happy to report that I was able to get Elstorm up quite a bit for Chesney. You guys will see the spell effect here in just a second. I won't spoil it for you, but let's just go ahead and use it for blades too. We're just summoning little tornadoes left and right here. Not a big deal at all. But Medea's is getting there. I know I've been slacking with hers, but oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it when I saw Chesney's. Come on, Chesney. Quit holding out on me, bro. And here it is. It reaches the full scale of the map, at least from top to bottom anyway. Isn't that interesting? Because initially, as you saw with Medea's as well as Blades, it only barely touches that top row. I don't think it even gets the middle row as it's initially given to you. So that's pretty cool that if you just scale it up a little bit, as you saw, it ends up becoming pretty decent. We're just going to use the poison in D, which thinking about it, it would make sense if that is the one that has the potential to, hmm, it didn't do anything though. So I don't know you guys, but I'm just thinking about it. The fact that it has PSN or poison in the name implies that it has some sort of additional effect with the damage that it just deals. So I don't know. Maybe not. But that would be my assessment of it and how it functions. But all right. Get lost, you guys. We're getting there, y'all. <laughs> I was a little taken aback by the difficulty of the enemies here when we first started walking around and rummaging through things. But it looks like we'll be able to hold our own and... Is this room just bullshit? Why is this here? Okay. Is it just me? I'm not missing anything, right? Let me just quickly scan here. Up and down, left and right. I don't see a hidden path or a door. But again, I just get nervous because I don't think we can come back. So don't mind me if I take my sweet ass time poking my head in and out of these rooms. But it doesn't look like there is anything in places like this. So we'll just grab this. <gasps> There's Kormu's sword. Why, after they pilfered it from Chesney, would they just leave them in unguarded rooms in unlocked chests? I don't really know what to say, but I guess, you know, they deserve the ass kicking coming their way if they're gonna be that fucking stupid that they would actually hold on, Chesney. Were the combat ones better? I don't know. Absolutely not. Okay, I remember passing up on those. All right, it's all coming back to me, friends. But yeah, back to my rose session here. Why in the hell would they take a legendary weapon off of their enemies and just leave it? Just out in the open. There's not a guard in sight. The door wasn't locked that let you into that room. And then the chest wasn't locked. <laughs> like, they, they done fucked up, you guys. I don't know what they were thinking, but hey, it works out for me. 
Actually, before I do that, Chesney, let's do L Storm. We're just gonna be bringing storms left and right, making them regret their lives. And I'll try to get Blades up too. I don't know how long Fiery and Blades will be in our party, and I'm wondering if they are temporary, kind of like Grunt and his girlfriend that we ended up saving. I don't remember her name, it's so bad, I, I really should, but it seems like they were temporary, and like Fritz, way back from the beginning of the game, they were more story-based recruits, as opposed to, I guess, optional mercenaries that you can, you know, take it or leave it, it kind of just depends on you, and if you want to have folks in your squad. So I don't know where Fiery and Blades are going to fall. Oh, I meant to tell you guys, when I saved off camera between our last episode and this one, I did go back and check and see if our dearest friend, Chen, who <laughs> didn't get used at all, if he was available. And he was still in there, so I don't really know if I should have swapped him out just to give him a, a decent, honest try, but I opted not to do that. So for whatever it's worth, I just thought I would share that with you. And ooh, you know what? We're just going to... We're going to poison the Patriots. <laughs> Interesting name, my friend. Interesting name. And I really want to get rid of the Hermits. Kind of my priority. Oh my gosh. But it's, it's not going to work if they keep fucking summoning each other like little assholes. But it should be fine. Please die. Okay. Well, Barry will take care of him. And I've got to make sure I don't let Chesney's HP dip too low. I'm not trying to straddle that fence like I did ages and ages ago where we had that clutch survival thanks to Medea. Can never forget. <laughs> Let's see here. I will just go ahead and use the high bottle on Chesney. We really should be good to go. We have so many fucking extra bottles here. I don't need to hoard them like I tend to want to do. Don't ask me why. I guess I'm just... I'm prepared for famine, you guys. It hasn't happened yet, but it might. And then you guys will be regretting not hoarding your bottle contents like I have. I'm just kidding. I know I'm being ridiculous and I should use them freely and happily and it's not going to more than likely pose any issue. But here we go. The Cormet, Cormet, <laughs> Cormet. What am I thinking about Kermit the Frog? The Cormu helmets. No, we can go with Kermit. I kind of like that actually. All right, let's tap into the power of Kormu's equipment yet again. And that leaves one last thing left. We just need the the bodysuit or the armor, which based upon how just, I would say irresponsibly, they've had everything else just kind of littering this canopy area. I don't think it's gonna be a difficult endeavor to find the last suit of armor. But you never know, they could surprise us and throw some bullshit our way. So it's best to always be prepared just in case. But alrighty, this should be the armor of Kormu. And yes, in fact, it is my darling. So we will immediately throw this onto Chesney and then he's pretty much good to go. I don't think we're missing anything else. We were able to refill all of our bottles thanks to the resistance members that came with Fiery to bust us out of jail there. So we should be back up, right? I don't think Medea lost anything. At least there was no text to imply that, but just to give it a quick peek, looks like she's good to go. So all we're honestly missing is just our previous team. I don't know where Lily is, and I certainly have no idea what happened to Chakan, and he was clearly a member of the resistance, so he might be gone, y'all. Okay, I've got to throw out there to you guys, as an aside, because Chesney now has his armor, the enemies do almost no damage to him. So it's crazy what a difference that made. But anyway, as we entered this other room, Fiery says, it's here that Zagos created Noigren. Chesney, you're equipped with, the, with three of Cormu's items, aren't you? I almost said with the three, but I mean, I guess it works. How many pieces did Cormu actually have? Who really knows? But we have three of them. So let's do it. Oh God, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Wait, Chesney, you're not going to get your way. Who's saying that? Oh, it's this douchebag again. Lokiarno, I think? Well, I'm sure he will remind us very quickly. Oh, Lokiarno, not Lokiarno. My bad, bro, I'm like giving you extra, 
extra vowels there that you don't really need attached to your name. Well, good thing I did go ahead and heal up everyone prior to entering that room. Gotta always be on your A-game. And as usual, I am going to probably open with Chesney and Medea doing some shit here. And he's up at the top, so even with the weak L-Storms, I think we should be good. But I want to bring up Chesney's strength as well as... Let's bring up his defense, y'all. What do you say about that? I think it probably isn't going to make a significant difference now. Oh, God. That did nothing. What the fuck? And he still does so much damage. How? Oh, is it Cormu's shit? That... Hmm. That might be the only thing I'm guessing that... I have to think about this. That might be the only thing that actually damages him is physically attacking him with the legendary sword of Cormu, right? Like that has to be it. So for everyone else then, we had better be chilling and I don't know if anyone else can really heal themselves. So this this might be it for you, Fiery. You might be sacrificing yourself for the, the good of mankind here. She's got a bomb bottle. I mean, whatever, just to see what it does, right? And as for you, you don't even have anything on your belt. What the fuck are you guys doing? Well, I guess we are gonna be chilling for a minute. I just need to see. Yeah, I don't think anything is going to. Whoa, my God. All right, so keeping Chesney alive is my numero uno. That, it, it just has to happen. He's the only one who can attack this fucking thing, which does suck a little bit then for fiery and squad because I don't think that they can really do anything except sort of chill over here and defend but it's it's not the end of the world between Medea's bottle and her what the fuck he really wants fiery gone so between Medea's bottle and also her lovely little Sophie's crown there oh she has a, a lot of ways to heal herself so it's really it's not going to be too bad. I'm going to actually heal up Fiery. I'm not sure I want them to die quite yet. Especially since it seems that Loki Arn splits his focus sometimes. So if I keep an extra person alive... Oh, well, never mind. I'm sitting here like just trying to theory craft and plan everything in real time with you guys. And it only took a couple of wallops from Kormu's sword. Very weird. But we've defeated Loki Arn. But the sword of Kormu is shattered. Fuck! The helm of Kormu is broken and the arm armor, I don't know, <laughs> Kormu's name like really throws me off, I guess, when I try to say it with other things. The armor of Kormu, not Armu of Kormu, is also destroyed. That really blows. You did it. Now Neugren should be destroyed too. Oh, I wonder, is Loki Arn the monster that was controlling Neugren? We had seen multiple times it referenced that there's a monster within Neugren. So that must have been it, right? So yeah, anyway, we did it. Now Neugren should be destroyed too, Fiery says. And hopefully we will not be joining. Oh, there's Zagos. Nice work, destroying Neugren. You won't get away with this, Chesney. Oh, Lord. I'll destroy Zagos. You all run for the hole behind Neugren. Fiery! Oh, no, this is going to be a wrap for Fiery. Why wouldn't she just... Oh, no. You two still have to stop Dalgren. Hurry, run for the hole behind Neugren. Fiery, no! Oh, gosh. I see Blades is not offering up anything. He's just like, well, you snooze, you lose. This makes me so sad. We keep losing friends. Oh, it just breaks my heart, you guys. But let's drop on down and see. Ah, well, rest in peace, Fiery. We're not even going to get to bury her like we had our beloved Joyce. That really blows. But anyway, friends, we will go ahead and heart weighs right here this is looking this is looking questionable and this music's making me nervous so you know what <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna heal up just really quickly here because i don't know what awaits us it could be bullshit it could be fine there's really no way of ever knowing for sure until it just actually happens and the events unfold before our, our eyes so until then, everyone, as always, my name is Rabbit. This is my blind run through Paladin's Quest for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and I greatly appreciate you guys joining me for the ride. So take care, be good, and I look forward to seeing you guys very shortly in episode number 44.